Hello and welcome to the iTech John Martin interview. Post-match here at Penzance after the Pirates have lost by 18 points to 9 to Newcastle. I'm joined by the Pirates coach, Gavin Cattle. Gavin, does that result show you that you're not too far away from the best team in the Championship? Oh, I think it was a pretty frustrating game. Um, I think going into the game we had a lot of belief that we could compete and possibly come away with a result. Um, yeah, I, th I think um, for us the, the encouraging thing is that um, we didn't perform nowhere near our best, but we were in the game. What's the difference between the two sides, do you think? I think penalty count. Um, if you look at that today, we got on the wrong side of the ref, and that there are adjustments we need to make. Um, I don't think we capitalised on that Simbin in, in the first half either. Uh, and there's some great learning for us from that game uh, in them senses where you can really change uh, momentum. And I think just just coming away from that game, we're very frustrated, but with a sort of optimistic of what we can bring in the future. You mentioned the penalty count. I thought it was about 18 against the Cornish Pirates. It resulted in two yellow cards. So you play for 20 minutes with only 14 men. That's difficult to do against one of the best teams, isn't it? Yeah, and our discipline has been very good this year. Um, that is like quadrupled uh, some of our penalty counts in previous games. So, um, yeah, we've, we've just got to adjust. Um, I think around the defensive breakdown, uh, we, we got... We just need to adapt to the referee. If that's his interpretation, we need to adapt. So um, we need to have a close look at that this week. Um, it's something that's easily rectified. Um, but the boys, will, the boys will be disappointed. How frustrating is that you didn't seem to get out of your own half very much of the second half, just once towards the end. Yeah, we stro we struggle to launch, um, and then when you you get and then penalties um, or mistakes, and a, a team of that, that nature. They, what was pleasing though, I think we kept them out with the driver more, so we're giving them enough shots, enough goes at it. Um, yeah, so it, there's positives to come out of that performance, but we'll go away very frustrated. Javier Alvarez was immaculate last week up at Doncaster. He missed a crucial penalty towards the end, which could have got you a losing bonus point. That's a bit disappointing. I'm sure he'll be the most disappointed person. Oh, yeah, and then Toby Flood missed two kicks. I think that's the nature of the sport. Uh, there's a lot of things apart from that kick that we can control. So I think we'll look, take a good look at ourselves first, um, especially with the ball. I don't think we built enough pressure with the ball. Um, we've, like I said, we struggled to launch, so we didn't impose our at attacking game on them. We had a glimpse in the first half. I thought, oh, here we go. Um, but against uh, an opposition like Newcastle, you might have two visits in that in the completion zone, the final third. You've got to maximise those visits, and um, we weren't clinical enough today. It was a big occasion here, almost 3,000 people. They will have gone home disappointed to have lost, but I'm sure they'll take heart from the Pirates' performance. Yeah, I think uh, we spoke at half-time. We hadn't got into the game, but we were disciplined. Um, well, that changed in the second half, but we were disciplined. And, and we had a lot of grit in defence, so we felt we were in, we were in the game. Um, we just needed to impose ourselves, but we failed to do so. I think Newcastle will go away a bit frustrated as well. I don't think they performed particularly well. Um, it was a bit, both teams sussing each other out for a bit and, and nullifying each other, but I think both teams will go away from that game looking at their attack thinking, um, what if? London Scottish ran them close, the Pirates have run them close. Does that give a lot of heart and hope to the rest of the Championship? I'm not really concerned about the rest of the Championship. We'll just look at ourselves and I think um, we're away far from our best today, so that we'll take heart from that. Um, you know, Newcastle will get better as the year get, goes by and we, so will we. Um, yeah, but look forward to playing them again. You've got a short turnaround this week, Nottingham on Friday night. Yeah, um, and we've, we've prepped for that, we know what's happening, um, we've got a squad that's ready to go. We've come from, through that game relatively um, okay, um, there'll be a few banged up bodies, but um, yeah, the training week's tailored to suit and uh, we just spoke in the circle there, it's a quick turnaround, we know what's coming. <laughs> It's disappointing not to get a losing bonus point, Gavin, but well played today. Oh, thanks, John. Cheers. It's Gavin Cattle, coach of the Cornish Pirates. Thank you for watching the, the Cornish Pirates iTech John Martin interview.